It marks the 10th anniversary of one of the worst disasters to strike downtown Bozeman. A gas explosion rocked the 200th block, claiming a life, flattening three buildings and rendering four others unsafe. MTN's John Shear reports on the calamity that came with no warning. By 8.15 on Thursday morning, March 5th, 2009, downtown Bozeman looked like this. But no one had any idea a catastrophe like this was looming. I was getting ready to go to work. That morning was just an ordinary morning for us. Steve White was chairman of the Gallatin County Commission. We were getting ready to start a um, office meeting. Lots of meetings were about to get underway. We had a crew that was working out of our Three Forks shop and I was out there for a safety meeting that morning. I'm driving into work actually uh, with the city manager. Kids like Chris Nauman's young son, were heading to school. Got him out the door and he was off walking to Irving. It was a day kids could love. It was a very snowy day that day. It affected everyone. And we were out shoveling snow. Everybody had a slow start that day. A slow start that in time would prove to be life-saving. In the Law and Justice Center, we felt the blast as, as many people did around Bozeman. Even after the blast, most people were struggling to comprehend what was happening. As I was coming over the hill by the uh, hospital, I saw that big plume of smoke. Len Albright was trying to get his bearings. Hmm, that looks like it might be downtown. Just west of the blast, Steve White had an incredibly unique vantage point. I just happened to be looking straight out the, the windows just at the time of the explosion. White didn't know what he was seeing. I thought maybe it was uh, something with a propane tank at the new uh, parking lot that they were building. Over at the fire station on 19th, Graver Johnson was also confused. It didn't come over our radios or our pagers. A fire captain downtown heard the blast and made a phone call. And said, hey, we have some type of blast, you want to start heading this way. Johnson and his crew were here on Main Street, heading to Bozeman's biggest disaster ever, with little information and no idea what was ahead. I remember turning on Main Street um, and heading down. About then, Graver begins to understand what's going on. The smoke rising and everything, and that's when we were trying to put it all together. Life had changed forever in downtown Bozeman. I'm John Shearer on Main Street for MTN News.